guys, welcome to Paige Jemis' room. So today I'm doing a get ready with me. So as you can see, my towel in my hair, and I just um, got out of the yard. So I pretty much put on some concealer and I contoured my face. I'm just taking a foundation brush right now and blending out that really, 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 really dark pigmentation of the contouring color for my cheekbones for the bronzer. I really like to add this underneath the foundation because it literally is gorgeous. I also put some concealer on, so I'm just beauty blending all of that up. And I use the Bare Minerals Concealer in White too. And then I also use my contouring kit using one of the lighter shades. And I put that underneath my eyes so that there wasn't any under eye circles. I can focus it in the front a little bit better. Then I am using onto foundation. Now for foundation, I kind of did something weird. I mixed the Rema London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation in 010 Light Porcelain. And I mixed that um, with the Maybelline New York uh, Dream Liquid Mousse uh, Foundation in Porcelain Ivory Light One. Because the Stay Matte, I just really, I really don't like the texture of it like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the top of my hand take a uh, foundation brush which is from Target and I'm just gonna put that all over my face nothing too uh, important I did get I did get a comment by my mom that you shouldn't pull out because that pulls your skin down and causes wrinkles but I just kind of go everywhere just to blend it out And here I'm just kind of squeezing my brush, and this brush is by e.l.f., just to really create a really deep, deep, deep contour. Moving up to the temples on my forehead. Rocketer, Rocketeur <laughs> blush, you guys know what I mean, by Benefit, and I purchased this at Sephora a couple times over. Then for my eyes, I'm going to be using the, let's see what palette I'm using, the It's Judy Time palette, and I'm just taking a really, really dark, smoky, smoky, smoky color. Uh, 
mascara if you just want that natural but really deep black uh, extended lash look. So if you want a pigmented gloss, this is definitely the way to go. and I'm just going to put it all over my hair. It's really nice. It's a heat protectant, moisturizer, and it puts a really cute and nice finishing shine touch to your hair. the hair is going to be the less the less crunchy so I'm just taking a little bit because I hate that really crunchy look um, and I'm just going to take it and stretch my hair not the best angle for me but hey <laughs> Either pull my face back like this, or 
just poof the sides up and I don't know, it's whatever fits you. Everybody has a different face, so I have the rounder face, so I feel like I just, with that much hair on that side, I just needed to pull it back, so I'm just going to pull it back with the bobby pin, which is what 99% of the time I normally do just to take some of that poof a little bit. So I'm just going to take a bobby pin and I'm just going to take just a little bit of hairspray if you want, but I pretended that because I hate the crunchy <laughs> That's my hair from the side, from the back. And you can add more to less oil than you want your hair frizziness. And that's my outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Thumbs up this video if you guys like Get Ready's with me. If you guys want to see a Christmas one or Thanksgiving one or a holiday one or Sometime around the winter, it's a lot of editing work, but if you guys want it, I will do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.